Does love really heal? I think we know it does, but it can be very difficult to get to at times. I'm Brenda Florida, life coach and lifestyle advisor. And I know that we live in challenging times for many of us, where many things in our own country, politically and around the world, are really uh, challenging our beliefs and position on things. And what I mean by that is just how polarizing the conversation has gotten. And so I feel really strongly in this concept that love is what's going to heal us. Not focusing on the differences, not focusing on what separates us, not meeting hate with hate, because that doesn't do any good. But using love, using love to its fullest advantage, right? Which doesn't necessarily equate to passivity. We can be very powerful and stand very firmly in our truth from a place of love. I think Martin Luther King is a great example of that. Somebody who was very outspoken and very clear in his message. And what he talked about was what he wants, right? He had a dream. He talked about his dream. He didn't go on and on about the things that were happening that he didn't want. And I think that's an important distinction that we focus most of our energy talking about what we want not what we don't want. So what's your dream? What's your dream for the United States? What's your dream for the world? And let's talk about that and articulate that. Because that's the way love is used as a very powerful force for healing and for unity. Because we're, we're going to have to get to a place where we stop being so polarized with each other. Uh, you know, I'm reminded of, and, and I'm sure all of you have something in your own life you can think of, so I'd love for you to think about this as I, as I talk about it. But in our, everybody knows I'm a big believer in authenticity, right? I'm, I'm, I believe in being unapologetically authentic. That's in our Live Lavishly Manifesto, and I did another video on that. So if you don't have the Live Lavishly Manifesto, you can get that by going to my website, brendaflorida.com, and anytime you sign up for my blog or my vlogs or upcoming programs, you'll get that Live Lavishly manifesto so you can get that on my website. But I, I'm a huge believer in being unapologetically authentic and we can always do that in love. We can always find a place to express even a hard truth, so to speak, in love. And I'm reminded of times where I have completely changed my perspective on something, okay? I grew up in a very religious, uh, conservative, I'll say, environment. And so many things were wrong, right? There, it was very focused on sin and all the ways people could fall from grace. And so there were a lot of things I believed were wrong, lifestyles I believed were wrong. And then I came to a place later in my life where I realized, you know, I don't really embrace that. I don't even believe that God or the divine, as I prefer uh, to call her, has that perspective. That was something that a person taught me to believe. And frankly, I don't believe it anymore. And I'm sure you've had similar things in your life. So I think the way that we find connection through love with people that we completely disagree on, just totally on the other side of the fence of something we are, is that we bring that ability to have grace because we remember a time in our life when we totally changed our minds about something. And that sort of opens the door for me to communicate with somebody that I may not agree with on a topic today with a little more grace and a little love instead of aggression and defensiveness and anger. Because I think at the end of the day, that connection, that it's really through a connection, a connection that says, I don't agree with you, and I'm going to meet you in this place with grace. I love the Rumi quote, I'm sure it's part of a poem, of course, where he says, uh, out beyond the ideas of right or wrong is a field. 
and I'll meet you there. And I think that really speaks deeply to how love heals. So I'd love to hear a little story from your life about how talking about something that was maybe difficult or maybe you, you know, had a total disagreement with somebody, but approached it through love and how that got you to a place of healing or a place of agreement or even a place of respectfully agreeing to disagree. Because at the end of the day, love heals. I'm Brenda Florida, life coach and lifestyle advisor.